All right. So where I left off was um, I put the database instance under management and listener under the management of GI. Now we want ASM. So the quick way to create an ASM instance would be just to do an SRVCTL add ASM. If you put in, oops, of course, um, SRVCTL add ASM dash H. If you do a dash H, then we can take a look to see, hmm, how is this all going to work? Where are we going to put the SP file? Stuff like that. And what about the um, the the disk string? You know, where are we going to look for disks? Well, before we go and proceed with that, let's see if Oracle ASM is working properly. It seems to be. Okay, so that's good. That was in a different video. So let's just do an add without providing an SP file, without providing a disk string, and see what happens. Now, this seems kind of weird because, like, wh what are we then doing? Well, the disk string is not a big deal. We're just going to look in the um, in the OS default, and it happens to be slash dev slash sd star, which is fine in the case of Linux. Um, but the SP file is going to end up, well, this is going to be kind of interesting. There will be no SP file or P file. <laughs> so what do I mean by that? Well, OK, let's do a Chris Cuddle stat res. You can see there's my resource. Now let's bring this guy online. Now this is the weirdest thing. I haven't configured anything. Also, the ASM instance depends on CSSD and Discmon. CSSD for um, uh, uh, some fencing related stuff and Discmon, well, for HA, right? So something's happening here. If I do a Chris Cuddle stat res now, you can see the ASM is online and it has pulled these other two guys up online too. Okay. But what did we really do? Well, when I added the resource, a line was added to my Etsy or a tab for my convenience. So finally, you won't have to watch me type this anymore, right? So let's just do an SRVCTL status ASM, and of course, it is up. Let's connect and uh, show parameter disk. You can see we are not, you know, there's no parameter for disk string. All right. Now let's see if we can create P file from SP file. There is no SP file. How about create SP file from P file? There is no P file. So the default location for SP file or P file do not exist. And actually, I'm OK with that for now, because I don't actually need any parameters for now. And actually, ideally, I would place the SP file into an ASM disk group. But anyhow, uh, we, we don't have any disk groups yet. Now, before we create any disk groups, we have to make sure that we actually uh, have permissions to these particular partitions. You see right here, only root has access to them. So we need to do a chone oracle, let's say o install dev sd b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, 1. Now we want to do ASMCA. You can use ASMCMD or, uh, or SQL plus to create disk group. So create disk group is the command in SQL plus. And um, make dg or mkdg with a whole bunch of XML would be the syntax within ASMCMD. Now, uh, in terms of documentation, we could go to docs and find this, right? So it's it's under grid computing, Oracle automatic storage, and then inside here, you just expand all, and you can look for create disk group. And you can see I've already navigated here to find this article or this, this information. But the key is being fast in finding this information. I'm going to use the GUI just because, well, it's kind of uninteresting. Um, now, dev sd star, we say OK. 
and we find B, C, D, E. Now, you'll notice I had to change my disk discovery path. Um, I could also go into the ASM instance and set the ASM underscore disk string, right? Anyhow, we're gonna we're gonna create a disk group, call it data, make it normally redundant, add these four disks, let's say, um, which should be adequate space. That'll give me four gigs of space for data, and I think that'll be more than enough. If I go to show advanced options, this is where I can change the compatibility, and notice that I'm able to um, bump the compats. Uh, the compat attributes on this particular disk group plus also adjust my AU. Um, a lot of people seem to say that 4 seems to be a good number to pick and I'm not going to get into that controversy right now it doesn't really matter but be aware that you might need to change this if you're requested to when you're creating disk groups um, on the exam assuming you have to create disk groups. So we go OK and we're done.